So in today's lesson, we're going to discuss that awkward situation when you've got a partial wedge shot that you need to hit. So in other words, you're not at your full wedge length. You can't go at it full, so how do you dial it down? So I've got my good friend Gideon Traub here from Forest Hills Country Club, PGA member, here to discuss how to, how to hit this shot. So Gideon, how do you explain this to your students? It's kind of tough when you have to ease up on something. Yeah, you know, I find uh, some students do this a little bit better than others, and those that, that have a struggle with it, they, they don't really know how to dial the speed down. So what I, what I try to tell, tell them to do is, one of the things you can do is you can choke down the club a little bit, which is going to help lower the distance, but also taking more of a three-quarter swing, um, not taking that full all the way back motion. What tends to happen with those guys is they do tend to get quick. Right. They, you know, they try to, even though it's a shorter swing, they still try to create that same amount of speed. Kind of jump, jump on it because they're nervous on it. about shortening it. Right. right. Yeah. So what I try to have them practice is really smoothing out the transition. To me, the smoothest swings in golf are the guys that have a really smooth transition. So if you shorten the swing, you really got to allow yourself to smooth the backswing to the downswing motion. If we can smooth that out, you can be a lot better consistent at, uh, with your distances. Right. Great advice. So just tone it down a little bit, keep it smooth and just trust it, commit yeah, to it, right? Exactly. Always got to commit. Get to that finished position. Right. So Gideon, that was some great advice you gave on how to dial down your wedges when you're in that like sort of tweener phase with your club. So I understand we're at kind of an awkward yardage for you. You can't go full out with your wedge. So just walk us through the steps you're going to take to try to knock it tight. Sure. So I've gone up a club probably from where, you know, if I, I could really maybe hit one wedge hard, instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and go up a club and take a little bit of a, an easier approach to hitting this shot. I'm going to choke down on the club a little bit, and I'm going to really concentrate on smoothing out my transition. I'm only going to take the club back about three quarters of the way and really kind of concentrate on making sure that my transition from the backswing to the downswing is smooth and doesn't have a whole lot of effort going in right, there. So you don't have to jump at it. Just don't have to jump at it. Right. Exactly right. Don't want to have to do that. I want to take my time and make sure that I actually hit this shot solid rather than hard. Okay. So I choke down on the club a little bit. I take it just over my shoulder and I really make sure that that transition's smooth. The key to these shots is actually making sure you get to that finish position. Okay, when, when you go a little bit slower, the tendency is to maybe ease into the golf ball. So maybe so you really want to make sure you get to that finish position. So that's what I'm going to concentrate on here. Nice smooth transition, get to my finish. So bad kick, but it actually was pin high. So yeah. you got the yardage down pat there. Definitely had the yardage right, which uh, probably should have aimed a little more to the right of that fat of the green, maybe. Right. It's simple and it works. And I want to make a special thank you to Gideon Traub, PGA head professional at Four Souls Country Club, for being with us today. You bet. Thanks, Maria. I really had a great time. I uh, appreciate you bringing or coming out here to Forest Hills. We, uh, we welcome you. Thank you so much. And remember, if you have an idea for a lesson, feel free to submit it in the Ask Maria section on mygolfinstructor.com.